I'm going to go through just a little bit of a, a brief back your background and um, okay. following that, I'd like you to kind of elaborate on any of <laughs> your, your career basically. Uh, so you're a board certified doctor of chiro chiropractic and you hold an engineering degree from the University of Maryland. Um, Go Terps. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I actually interviewed for a job there. Didn't get it. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you specialize in sports biomechanics, strength and conditioning, manual therapy, rehabilitation, and therapeutic exercises as they relate to sports. Um, You're going to read that whole bio? Yeah, yeah. Not, I'm not going to read the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, but... Uh, I mean, if you want to read the whole bio, I'll, I'll tell you I'll what, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the short version if you okay. want to read the short version. Yeah. So, so, give me the short um, version. yeah, so, so I basically, um, started, like you said, as an engineer with thought I was going to go into building roadways and building houses, realized real quick, I hated that decided to go into medicine and, uh, for a lot of reasons, uh, became a chiropractor and um, I actually fell in love with the game of golf when I was at the University of Maryland, I actually worked at the golf course there. And when I finished my chiropractic degree, I was going to move back to Maryland, which is where I'm from, and uh, I decided I was going to open up a practice called Advantage Golf. And everybody said, you're crazy, you can't open a chiropractic practice just for one sport. And I was always like, well, that's what the eye doctor said when he said he's just going to work with eyes. Everybody thought he was crazy, uh, it worked out for them. So uh, I did it anyway, and my practice exploded. That was 1996. I always say it, it's better to be lucky than good. And in 1996, Tiger Woods started the game of golf too. And a lot of people were like, what is this young phenom doing? And I was always, because I think the engineering, into the biomechanics and trying to understand. And I had some pretty cool technology back then. And we started doing some really cool stuff with analyzing golfers and trying to figure out how to, how to extract any performance out of these players. And um, just to kind of give you a little, uh, little side story is in 1996, there was a company in Virginia, just south of me, named Functional Movement Systems, or FMS. There was a physical therapist by the name of Greg Cook and a guy by the name of Lee Burton. Um, they started working with athletes at the same time I did, and we kind of became friends. And um, Gray and Lee at FMS decided to develop a screen. And the screen was, Gray back then would say, you know, a lot of us in the medical world would work on athletes that were injured. And we, once we get an athlete, let's say we have a pitcher, or we have a hitter that's injured, we would try and rehab them, get them to feel better. And then as soon as they were better, all of us would say, listen, you got to get in the gym and keep yourself from getting injured. That's really important. But a lot of them would go to the gym and what would they do? They would hurt injured. themselves, right? And we're <laughs> like, man, that's frustrating, right? So they decided to develop a screen, a movement-based screen to try and identify any movements that you should stay away from that might actually potentially injure you. Uh, and... and it was kind of a neat idea back then. Nobody was really doing anything like this. Uh, Reebok picked up their screen in 1998, became part of what's called Reebok University, and started to go all over the world. Now, that idea of movement screening always intrigued me, and I was like, you know, we should come up with a, a sports-specific movement screen. And I developed one for golf. And uh, in, in 2000, decided to open up this amazing facility in Gaithersburg, Maryland. It was called Club Golf. It was part of a huge sport and health club, which was a, a 10,000 square foot gym. And then we, I'm sorry, a 80,000 square foot gym. We built a 10,000 square foot addition that was called Club Golf. And it basically had all the hitting cages. It had some of our early 3D motion capture video stations. Plus we had an entire medical center with orthopedic surgeons, physical therapists, chiropractors. It was pretty amazing. And um, that was in 2000. In 2000, I had over 3,000 patients that were golfers from all over the world. So I knew this, this niching in a sport would, would, would work really well. Um, and then out of nowhere, a golf pro in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, brought in a young eight-year-old, um, or sorry, he was nine years old. His name was Peter Uline to actually have me evaluate him, and he got, brought his dad with him. Well, I didn't realize his dad was the CEO of Titleist. Just to fast forward, Peter Uline's on the PGA Tour now, mm -hmm. and while Uline I was the CEO of Titleist. When he saw what we were doing, he was like, man, this is amazing. Um, I think what you're doing could help make golfers play better, play longer. And that's billions of dollars for us at Titleist because they buy our golf balls and our equipment. And he said, I want to help you. And basically, they decided to become a sponsor. They were, uh, we were doing some research for them. And the next thing you know, I get offered to run something called the Titleist Performance Institute. Moved out here to where I'm at now in San Diego, California. And since 2003, I've pretty much taken care of all the health and fitness of Titleist golfers worldwide, which 
there's over 8,000 players that they sponsor. So I always say we have one of the biggest teams in sports. And then just to kind of finish my story. So um, in 2003, when I got this job, decided I said, one of the, one of the things I always give advice to coaches is you should always surround yourself with people who are way smarter than you. And that's something I've done really well. And I created an advisory board at TPI or at the Titles facility here of 63 men and women that I just think were some of the smartest in the world. And I created a medical advisory board. And on that board, I brought that Gray Cook in who was doing the functional movement screen. And I said, hey, I want to do a medical version. Like the functional movement screen was for healthy people. I like to do one to try and identify maybe where the injuries are coming from. And we co-developed something called the SFMA, the Selective Functional Movement Assessment. I tell you that story because Mm -hmm. in 2008, SFMA and FMS merged, and I'm now one of the owners also of Functional Movement Systems. And, And FMS... Uh, is one of the largest movement screening in the world. Uh, we actually have a station at the NFL Combine. Uh, we've been doing that since 2009. We have a station at the NHL Combine. We've been doing that since 2011. We do all the special forces here in the United States, uh, from Navy SEALs to the Delta Force. It's hard to name a league, a federation, every MLB team. All of them have a, a FMS certified uh, evaluator on their teams. So because of that, I've kind of branched into a lot of sports. Where What I do is I spend most of my day analyzing movement data and biomechanics. We do a lot of the 3D motion capture uh, uh, of athletes and try to figure out how to extract that performance, uh, make them a little bit better, give the coaches or the trainers, you know, any information that can give them that little edge. I was brought into baseball in 2004 by Dr. Tom House, who's on our advisory board from the pitching world. Um, he would, he would, he's here in San Diego and was, it's just been a great friend and kind of dragged me into baseball. And now, you know, we consult with almost 15 MLB teams. Uh, we started a company called On Base University. Uh, did that in 2014 with Don Slott, who's the you know, volunteer hitting coach for UCLA. And with a guy by the name of Steve Johnson, who's back in Washington, D.C. and wrote the Art and Science of Pitching with Dr. Tom House. So we kind of started this On Base University. We have a fast pitch softball class coming out here pretty soon, which I'm very excited about. We've been working with Team USA Softball for the last six months, just analyzing all kinds of incredible athletes there. And that's my story. That's the short story. Wow. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. It's fun. Um, I got a fun job, that's for sure. <laughs>